Okay, so in this video, I am going to show you the difference between a dupe Alexa Mini and a real authentic Alexa Mini. Now, this is not one of the illegal branding. Uh, this is an actual one that's inspired by it. But if you look at these, they were obviously taking inspiration from the Alexa Mini because it is, it's the same. Um, but this one does not have any branding on it. If you look at like the um, the little um, postman's lock, it doesn't have any branding on it. You can get them with branding on them, but I didn't want a, you know, I didn't want to buy something that was branded illegally, so I did not. But you can get this one that is branded. Okay, so what are the differences? The first difference you can see right away this one is in chestnut and this one is just in a color they call brown the first obvious difference is the color um, this one is you know a little bit different color it's hard for them to match the color exactly when you buy any kind of um, you know dupe or replica um, so the color is different the hardware is usually terrible in dupes so you can see this is kind of a orangey yellow color that's usually a sign to me that it's a dupe where this is the real one on this side it is a beautiful champagne gold color um, and so that is another obvious difference uh, obviously on this one you've got the branding the mulberry tree it says mulberry uh, no branding on this one there's also branding on all of the little the little studs here they say mulberry on them, on all of them. Every, every, I think every single one of them says mulberry on it. And it also says mulberry on this, which is also a little bit hard to see on the camera, but on, on, on both sides, the buckles say. This one does not have um, any kind of branding whatsoever even of another name. I think they call this the Mulberries purse, um, but there's no, no branding. So that's one difference. Another difference that I see in uh, fake Mulberries is usually the handle. The real Mulberry is, is beautiful. It's really well made. Um, and this is the 2020 plus um, age. So it's got a different kind of handle, but the original one was also a beautiful and they were hand braided. And this one, you can just see the difference in it. It is braided. It's a good quality. This is actually, I believe, a leather purse. Um, the difference in the cost would be, this one is about $80 and this one is about $1,200. So huge difference uh, in the cost. And this is a beautiful purse. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. People would buy this because they either couldn't afford this one or they absolutely just didn't want to spend that much on a purse and there would be nothing wrong with this. I have carried this many times and I do actually love this purse. Um, on the back, they're very similar. This one doesn't have the extra little uh, stitching there. I think this is where they put the pocket inside, I believe. But there's no stitching there. The sides are very, very similar. I don't have the strap on this one right now. The sides are similar. One thing that I do like about the, the one that's not authentic that the real one does not have is feet. Um, there are no feet on the authentic mini or the regular mini, but uh, this one did have feet. And this is a purse that generally you do sit down a lot, so I do appreciate that it has feet. Uh, another difference I noticed are the straps that are in the front right here. This one has this little metal piece on the bottom with the mulberry branding. This is just, it just stops, which I don't particularly care about that. I actually find this annoying because it bangs on things. And this does, uh, obviously, is very quiet because see how long the straps are? Um, they, they're a little bit longer on this one. Because they're so long, they hit the ground every time. So those metal pieces just get really bit, um, beat up. So 
Um, I don't think it's really a negative that it doesn't have it, but that is a difference. Okay, uh, they both also will, you can undo uh, the sides. Look, at, this is a really good picture of the, the, the bad gold color that you get in dupes. It's just bad. Things that you order from like DH Gate are gonna come with this. I try to, I mean, I wouldn't order anything from DH Gate that has gold on it because quite often you're gonna get this ugly um, fake gold color. Okay, now in the real Alexa, open this up. Uh, they both have really strong magnets. The real Alexa is just a big open purse. There's not really any organization in there and they don't really have any um, branding inside. Uh, well, that's not true. They do have some branding on this pocket that's way down there, it says Mulberry. But they, they've removed like the little medallion that used to be in here. You don't get those anymore. Um, and then it has just a slip pocket. There's no zipper pocket. There's nothing on that side. So there's absolutely no organization in here. Um, this is very soft and it is very hard to do the uh, postman's lock on it if you don't have an organizer in it. I do not have that problem with this bag. Um, with the fake one, they have added this zipper on the top, which which created structure. So now this bag just shuts with absolutely no effort. You do not have to put any kind of organization in it. Now, again, fake gold, ugly. Zipper's not really needed, although it does make it, make it more secure. There, um, and then on the inside, they put a lot of organization, so you don't need any kind of uh, organization organizer in here. So that is one of the benefits. Now, the negative is just the quality of the leather. You just can't beat Mulberry's leather. It is very heavy, although this size, the Alexa Mini, I do not find to be um, heavy. You know, like you can carry this all day long and you're not going to have any problems. And it is beautiful. This is the larger grain kind of leather. It does have a little more structure than the old um, Alexa bags that had the other kind of leather in there. It does kind of maintain this, this kind of shape. I carry this with and without an organizer, but I have found that I always regret if I don't have an organizer in it because I can't do the postman's lot. Um, where this is just cheap, you know, I mean, it's not a cheap bag. I mean, to me, I think $80, I mean, it's for a, just an unbranded purse. I think that is not, I don't think of that as cheap. Um, of course, I'm not rich. Um, this one is $1,200, $1,250, I think. So it, um, it should be a nicer leather. On the inside of it, this one is the back side of the leather. It's like, well, right here is the same as the outside of the bag, which I like because you touch this a lot, you can just wipe it off. The inside is suede. It smells really nice. It's, um, you know, it's a really nice bag. Not all of the mini Alexis are like this. So you need to look, if you go and buy one directly from Mulberry, you need to look at the pictures and read the description because a lot of these have a different interior. So make sure if it's important to you to have unlined that you make sure you choose a color that's unlined. Um, this one is, I think it's leather because it smells like leather, but it is a very thin, cheap leather. Benefit is that it's lightweight because it is, and this is just some kind of micro fi uh, fiber that they put on the back of this, which Mulberry has started doing now also. So you can't really argue with that because Mulberry has started putting a lot of these liners in there. And we won't really talk about the inside of this one because I was actually, I mean, this is not anywhere near what a mulberry is. And um, so there's nothing more to talk about that, but the, the leather is really nice. Things like the straps, this is a really nice strap that comes with it. Um, the, the hardware is really nice. I unfortunately don't have the, uh, I think I even threw it away. It was such a crappy, strap that I didn't even keep it. 
have another strap that I, I put on this, but it was like a really super thin, you know, I couldn't get the wrinkles out of it. It was it was like a fake leather kind of thing. Um, and I, I actually don't carry either one of these bags with the strap, so I carry them by the handle. So I, for this one, I just took it out, threw it away, because I wasn't even gonna reuse it. But anyway, that is my, um, that is showing you the difference between a fake mulberry and a real bull mulberry. Again, this is not one that's illegal to sell. There is no branding on this. This is just a purse company copying another purse. It's not, um, you know, but if you want to try this one out to see, do I want to spend $1,200 on this one? Let me try this one out first and, and see, you know, that might be a good idea. Or if you're just never going to spend $1,200 on a bag and you love this style, it is beautiful. Try this one. Anyway, that's all I have. My next video is going to be comparing the mini to the regular size.